Hi, everyone. Um, today I'm here and I just wanted to learn a little bit more about this year's OHBM Hackathon. Um, so this year I know that the OHBM main conference has moved to a totally virtual event. And I know that the Hackathon will be a three-day online event uh, before the OHBM conference from June 16th to June 18th. But I don't really know what it's going to look like to have this event totally online. So to learn a little bit more, I'm talking to the two OHBM Hackathon co-chairs. Um, so I'm speaking to Lisa Lividus, who's currently finishing her master's at the Montreal Neurological Institute and about to start a PhD, very exciting, uh, at the National Institutes of Health and University College London, and her fellow Hackathon co-chair, Remy Go, who's currently a postdoc at the Université Catholique de Louvain in Belgium. And so, I, now that I have you both here, first, thanks so much for taking the time. Um, I just wanted to learn a little bit about what is this event really going to look like? Because this year, basically every OHBM member is going to be a first timer in this new online format. Um, so Remy, could you maybe tell me a little bit about, uh, for OHBM members who've never been before first, what is a hackathon? And then maybe more specifically, what is this year's hackathon going to look like as an online event? Okay, so um, so a hackathon is traditionally just an event where people come together to collaborate on a project, right? You uh, so the person has an idea, or they have this project they've been working on, and they say, "Hey, I want to do this," uh, and this is usually on a short time scale, like a few days, and people just come and help this person to just reach those like short term goals that they have sort of in mind. So that's, that's usually the, the understanding of a hackathon. So the idea you, you hack together on a very short amount of time, like the marathon aspect, and you try to just like get something done very quickly. Um, so, and the OHBM hackathon have this idea in mind, but they also have this other part uh, where it's more focused towards learning new skills. So we have those two components. One is called a train track and the other, called, the other one called a, um, a hack track. So the train track is just a series of tutorials, workshops, uh, software demos that will be happening for the whole duration of the hackathon. And then you have the hack track, which is a bit more similar to what I was describing before, where people are going to submit a project uh, and other people can just come and help them to sort of like, you know, just finalize those uh, projects or just like move the, ball, um, move the project a bit more forward during the duration of the hackathon. So this is usually the regular, I would say, OHBM hackathon, but now we're moving online, right? So this is different. So now um, the idea is that we want to have this three days event that will be just uh, global. So that will be always on. So wherever you are on the planet, there will always be a train track happening where you can join and you can just learn new things, or there will be people just working together on the same project. Um, and the idea is that we are going to organize this around different hubs. Uh, so uh, one hub will just groups like several time zones and then people will, uh, will be, so ideally we want people to sort of be able to join a train track or to work together when they're awake, their normal working, working hours. Um, and, but the idea is that we also want to sort of create sort of this global environment, this global event where if you want to work on a project that's happening on the other side of the planet, you can still do it, right? So that we are, we're trying to create this sort of event where you can collaborate wherever you are um, on the planet. No, that sounds really cool. I, I'm really excited to see how it works. So Lisa, maybe you could tell me a little bit about uh, what it would really look like to be a participant at this kind of event or how you're envisioning that experience. For sure. Um, and so we're trying to make the experience parallel a traditional brain hack or the OHBM hackathon as much as possible. So as Rami said, we're still going to have the train track, which is something that's been happening for the past, I believe, three to four years. And we'll have the hack track. And so um, one thing that I, I'm not sure was mentioned is that we're trying to be as wel welcoming as possible to newcomers. So of course we want people of all different programming level experiences, um, various neuroimaging interests to be able to join. But specifically for newcomers, we're gonna try to make it as easy as possible and as um, enticing as possible for them to actually join this event. And so to make sure that they're not gonna get lost, um, every single newcomer is going to get paired with a mentor. And so this is another individual with whom they can have um, coffee dates, so to speak, where they can just have like a virtual chat. Um, the mentor will check in, ask if the mentee um, 
needs help with anything if they're getting lost on a project. Um, additionally, during the train track uh, sessions, some of the, some of the uh, train track sessions are going to be recorded. And so um, in order to still have these sessions be as interactive as possible, during, during the time that a train track session is being presented, we'll also have um, TAs around who can help people out. So um, there'll be a, se a separate Jitsi room or a separate Zoom room, or just even like a, a mattermost channel, where if somebody is getting lost during a train track session, they can go ask one of these TAs for help. So debugging something, if something is going wrong with their setup, something like that. Um, yeah, and so we're also going to have templates for all of the different projects in order to make this a little bit more structured and to ensure that there is more coordination across the hubs and projects. Yeah, this sounds, this sounds really exciting and I'm so appreciative of all the work you've both spent thinking this through. So let's, I am really excited. I want to get involved. What does that look like? How do I become a participant? Or you said there are mentors or TAs. How would yeah. I adopt one of those different roles? For sure. So, yeah, so we're, um, we're going to be sending out a registration link for the event. And so within that registration link, it'll, there'll be several other forms that you can get linked to where you can see what the different volunteering roles are. You can select which one you're most interested in. And so based on the experience that you previously had attending OHBM hackathons or just other brain hack events worldwide, such as the brain hack global events, um, we'll be able to decide who fits what role. Um, so it'll be as easy as that, really. There will just be several forms that you'll get linked to. And so um, I think Remy might have mentioned that our website is going to go live. And so from that website, we're going to be linking out to all of these other forms as well within the next eight to 10 days. Yeah, that's awesome. So, okay, so Remy, then it sounds like I should, if I want to learn more, I should hold tight for a website. Yes, de definitely. So yeah, we're working on that right now, uh, trying to make sure that we all agree on uh, how, where everything is, trying to coordinate the last few details. Um, but uh, yeah, there'll be, a, uh, there'll be a link coming up very soon for our website with all the information uh, you need to know about how to submit a project, how to come and help, or how to just attend. Um, and hopefully we'll have like a whole FAQ so like, you know, to answer all the possible questions you might have. No, this is really exciting. And I, I so appreciate all the work that you've put in so far. This sounds like it's going to be a really amazing event. Um, so thank you both for chatting. And I'm looking forward to seeing you June yep. 16th. Thank you. Thank you.